Hi, my name is Wing Ni uh, and I'm from Malaysia. Um, it's been about seven years since I came to Hong Kong. So I moved to Hong Kong from my university studies. During my free time, I really like taking walks. I just really like um, taking a stroll to just look at the scenery and uh, to just really organize my thoughts. Yeah, when I was really young, uh, a childhood friend of mine introduced me to church. We have Sunday school and let's we get a play. And I was like, yeah, sure, why not? My concept of God when I was really young was that he was, you know, a strict rule-based father. And when they say, fear the Lord, I literally feared him. You have to like be well behaved and, you know, well disciplined because if not, God will, God will discipline you if not. I was a lukewarm Christian, like even throughout my university studies, all the way till when I first started working. Um, you know, I just went to God whenever I needed Him, whenever life was tough, whenever circumstance was really difficult, I went to Him. But when it was smooth sailing and sunshine, you know, I didn't, I just ignored God. And I would try to like, work really hard and try to like gain favor for my colleagues and boss you know i would want to please people and do as they say and be the person that they want me to be just so that i can feel that sense of fullness in me but it didn't work now that i think back about it i think god was pretty upset as well you know like i must have hurt him I thought treating myself to a good meal or, you know, taking care of myself, eating healthily, doing exercise and all would still fill up that hole, but no, it didn't fill up that hole. So I knew that something much bigger was needed in order to fill that hole in my heart. So I met up with this friend. Uh, she was sharing a lot about like how God intervened in her life. And one thing I saw in her was that joy, that fullness, she felt like a whole person, you know, and she was sharing with me how God did this in her life and God did that in her life to just see how like she's living her life being so full and fulfilled in Him. I wanted that too. Like I want to invite God back into my life. Like now, the first thing I thought, you know, like God, like what exactly do you want me to do right now to be closer to you? And one thing that came in my mind was community. And so I joined um, the Rooted program from Island, and I told myself that I needed to get plugged into community. I needed friends to walk with me. From those times when we're sharing, you know, I actually feel much better and feel like I actually have a good group of friends that I can count on. And I think that was what I really needed and God gave it to me. Uh, I felt that God was pouring into me and He was also asking care group members to pour into me as well and I started healing. My family, they're not Christians, right? So I actually, I was a bit um, afraid to get baptized. So I told God and I said, mm, you know, okay, God, I'm going to obey. You said right now, I'm going to do it now, but please just um, help me to make this a smooth process as I'm telling it to my parents. When I FaceTimed them and I told them about my decision to be baptized, they were like, yeah, sure, when's your baptism? My mom was telling me that, you know, throughout this uh, year and a half, I've seen changes in you. You are not that anxious anymore. You think before you do certain things. And even when I see difficult colleagues, you know, trying to mess around with you, you were, you were, you were, you were just really calm. That's what she told me. When I heard that from my mom, I didn't even realize that actually I was changing, you know. Life is still tough. Life is really still challenging. From the past two years, I realized that maybe the root cause of me feeling lonely is that because I don't believe God loves me. But one thing changed is that I 
was willing to allow God to enter into my life. I was willing to say yes to Him at all times, at all different circumstances. And I think that the biggest difference is that I'm able to fully experience Him and to just feel really full in His presence. You know, with God, I felt as if like He's constantly just pouring, pouring and pouring into me. Even when you're in the darkest valley, with God, there is always hope. That is what I go by every day right now.